Breaking news in Raleigh. At least three men have been shot in a grocery store parking lot and no one is in custody. Thank you for joining us. I'm Deborah Morgan and I'm Gerald Owens. We have team coverage on this story tonight. This happened in front of the food line. We see dozens of police cars and scores of evidence markers on the ground. A sign of the empty shell casings that investigators are looking at. We begin with Julian Grace. He's live outside the store on North Raleigh Boulevard. Julian, a very large police presence. <laughs> Uh, just a disturbing night for people in that store and around the area. Disturbing, frightening. There's so many adjectives you could use, Gerald, to describe this scene here. But let me walk you through it, or at least try to walk you through it. There's a food line right beside me. But if you look down here, we're about 100 yards away from the shell casings there that stretch all the way to that city trends. In fact, there was one man who says he was inside a restaurant getting something to, something to eat when he heard the gunshots and he got down on the ground. I want to bring you over here to the food line. We have documented four gunshots uh, that, that, that crews here are documenting and taking pictures of. You can see a bullet hole right in that window there, a couple other bullet holes here on the facade. But we talked to one worker who was inside this food line when the shots first started, and he tells us initially he thought it was firecrackers, and then he quickly realized it was gunshots. Take a listen. I heard what sounded like fireworks go off, and then we heard uh, louder sounds that sounded like bullets hitting windows. And uh, one of the bullets came through our window, and we all uh, scattered to the back of the store. Hmm. Let's come back out here live again. You see forensics documenting every inch of the scene here, bullet holes, fragments, all of that here. Gerald, earlier we spoke with Lena, and Lena talked about how uh, heavily populated this community is. There's a number of residents who live nearby. In fact, there was one gentleman who told me he just wanted to buy something to eat. The shooting happened, and now his car is trapped around all this crime scene tape, and he doesn't know when he'll be able to get back home tonight. You don't expect that when you're just going to the store to pick up some groceries. Julian Grace, live in Raleigh. Thank you, Julian. Continuing our team coverage on this breaking story, all three victims were taken awake med. That's where we find WRL's Aaron Thomas, who just arrived. Aaron, a crowd gathering outside the hospital. Yeah, that's correct, Gerald. Actually, within the past five minutes, I actually just finished driving near the emergency entrance here at Wake Med Hospital. So this is what the presence looks like up there. Uh, we saw a visible presence from Raleigh police officers with both their cruisers as well as their physical bodies uh, near that entrance. Also saw a state trooper vehicle. Also on this side, you might see or notice a few civilians that are walking back and forth between that emergency entrance as well as this parking lot. We're still trying to find out if there's any sort of connection or relationship to some of those victims that are here at the hospital. We do know one person has minor injuries. Another person has ser serious injuries. Be sure to stay with us as we work to find out a motive behind this shooting. Back to you. Of course, we'll have any updates on our morning news on WRAL. Aaron Thomas, live at Wake Med. Thank you, Aaron.